Hello everybody, welcome back. This should be a second upload of the day. And in my last video, I went over four players that can win your league. And now we're going to look at the other side. Four players that could make you lose your league if you take them at their current ADP. Hello, my name is Thomas Hilkema, and here are four players that will have you lose your fantasy league. For some clarification, um, these players are good players. Um, they're just not as good as their ADP says they will be. So just because a player's on this list doesn't mean they'll be the worst at their position or they'll in some cases even drop outside the top 15. But it just means that they won't do as well as they are projected to be. So let's get right into this. My quarterback pick for league losers is Deshaun Watson. According to ESPN's live draft trends, Watson is being taken as the QB3 with the 42nd pick. This means in the 12-team draft, he's the 6th pick in the 4th round. And that's just too high for me. First, yes, Watson does have a solid floor because of his ability to scramble. And this will be an even more valuable this skill, more valuable skill this year as he's going to need to scramble. Because um, the second part of this is Watson doesn't have a go-to guy in his receivers. Um, Houston's receiving core of Fuller, um, Cooks, Cobb, they're solid receivers but they're number twos or number threes on a team. Um, and none of them will be, you know, let's say, I don't know, DeAndre Hopkins level player who Watson has had his entire career up to this year. So overall, expect a dip in Watson's numbers as I think he will drop outside the top five fantasy QBs and maybe even outside the top 10. But this isn't entirely on Watson. He will take a dip. And there are quarterbacks that just, the behind him that I expect to overtake him with the good solid year. Next is my running backs, and this one could be a little controversial, but when I first was going through this idea, I was thinking, well, Clyde Edwards Hilaire or Miles Sanders, who I thought were just way too high. Like, first round running backs I thought was too high. But then I did some research, because um, I'm, I'm, I'm a good, good YouTuber. Uh, did some research, and th from what I saw, they proved to me to be good enough of their ADPs. So I went with somebody, slightly bigger name, you might have heard of him, King Henry, or Derrick Henry, whatever you want to call him. Last year, Henry just dominated, rushing for 1,540 yards, um, a better playoff quarterback than Lamar Jackson. Um, <laughs> he did he did throw a touchdown pass before Lamar Jackson, so that's, that's my sola. Uh, Sole claim to that. Um, so sole fact to that claim. Um, this I think he could I, he could repeat the one thousand five hundred forty yards, or at least get fairly close to it. But his touchdowns, on the other hand, he won't get too close to repeating. He scored sixteen touchdowns last year, which is an average of one per one per game, which is amazing. Henry has the capability to explode for long runs and touch and ended up in, end up have them end up in touchdowns, as he proved with his 99-yard touchdown run in 2018. But most of his touchdowns came from the red zone. In fact, 13 of his 16 came from the red zone. This will not happen again because of two things. One, defenses know who he is. Just about every first and second down and every single play in the red zone, that box will be loaded. They, because... The Titans just go to Derrick Henry. That's as they should. But this won't stop him. Okay, it'll slow him down. That's what like I'd say maybe about ten touchdowns this year for Derrick Henry. And the other reason for this is well, the other two reasons for this are AJ Brown and John U. Smith. These two are big, muscular bodies that will definitely take red zone touches away from Henry. Uh, they will also be solid receiving options in general that can explode for big plays. So to sum it up, RB6 and player 6 in general, just too high for me with Derrick Henry. Now, picking a wide receiver for this was hard, and it hurt me a little. Uh, when looking at the ADP of all the wide receivers, I was led to look at two of them. One, Mike Evans, and two, DeAndre Hopkins. In the end, I went with DeAndre Hopkins as his wide receiver 2 ADP, according to ESPN's live draft trends, is just too high. Um, this hurt me because DeAndre Hopkins is my favorite wide receiver to watch and, in my opinion, second best in the NFL. So it was not easy putting him here. 
I think Arizona will have an amazing year with DeAndre Hopkins as their star wide receiver. But the simple fact is, there's just too many mouths to feed in Arizona. You have receivers like Christian Kirk, Larry Fitzgerald, Andy Isabella, and even Kenyon Drake, who are all great receivers and will take targets away from DeAndre Hopkins. So there just won't be 150, 167 targets available for DeAndre Hopkins. He will still produce amazing numbers, and I'm fairly certain he'll be their red zone guy if it comes that he will be their number one red zone target. He will probably have an increase in touchdowns, I would think. Um, but I don't see him getting anywhere near the 150 targets that he got last year. Finally, for tight end, this was also between two players, but this one, a little easier for me. Um, I really could have chosen either one. But one of them I think has talked a little bit too much when it comes to this stuff, and that's Jared Cook. And the other option for me was Rob Gronkowski, who I who I chose for this. Gronk hasn't played in the NFL for two years, and he's projected as a top seven tight end. This is just it's just way too high. Yes, there have been years where Gronk is the clear number one tight end, but that was years ago. Now, there's a lot of uncertainty for me because I don't know how he will be used. Uh, Bruce Arian typically uses his tight ends as extra blockers, as we saw with O.J. Howard last year. But Tom Brady didn't just bring Gronk out of retirement to block, so I think there's just too much uncertainty. Also, Gronk will be rusty. He will not be the same Gronk that, um, that we've seen with the Patriots and... I've heard kind of mixed results out of um, Tampa Bay's training camps. I've heard Bruce Arians say he's the Gronk of old. But then um, I've also heard that just about everybody else says, uh, no, I, they just they don't see the same Gronk that we've been accustomed to. So, um, so yes, especially on a team with uh, Chris Godwin and Mike Evans, Someone's going to have to give. Not all of them will be top seven players or receivers or top seven at their position. And um, I think Mike Evans will drop a little bit. Still, Evans will still stay top ten, but Gronk's going to drop the most. It's I'd see him dropping outside the top. There's a possibility he drops outside the top 15. Um, that's just what I see. And I think that's just what to expect from Gronk now. So that basically sums it all up. Um, those are my four players who will make you lose your fantasy league if you take them at your, their current ADP. Thank you all very much for watching the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Yell at me for how wrong I am or how right I am. Um, of course, it's how right I am. I'm never wrong with this. Anyway, thank you very much and adios.